All right, YouTube, burn piston racing here. Uh, just want to show you these. Uh, if you remember, we got the Cobras a while ago. Um, my kids, the racing season's about to start, and uh, they are nervous to get on those bikes. Um, I remind you that they are six. Uh, they just turned six, and uh, they haven't done any racing before. Um, I bought those bikes, and you can see they are uh, a little bit bigger than what my kids want to ride. So I've gone out and bought um, two JR50s. Uh, this is 2006. Um, I got them running now. As you can see, it's kind of cold out there, so snow and stuff. So we haven't really been riding a whole lot. So I've got these running so they can warm up and stuff. And actually, I'm getting ready to uh, clean them up and change the oil and all that kind of stuff in the bottle. Uh, get some good gas in it and everything. But this is an 06. Uh, it's pretty clean. Um, the original tires, and it's still got the little fingers hanging off there. Um, this is probably the cleaner out of the two. Uh, here's one over here. Same thing, 06. Um, both seen them run a little bit good. This one has a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit more difficult to get started in it. And when you're, you're kicking it and stuff, the overflow from the carburetor is leaking out. Um, this one didn't do that. So what I'm going to do with this one is uh, clean the carburetor out and stuff. I'm actually probably going to clean the carburetor on both of them and make sure that the uh, that extra extra pilot jet's gone um, that these things have. So yeah, I just want to show you these. And if you watched the video before, uh, my kids have been riding this JR50. Uh, this is a 1978. This is one that I used to race and ride. My brother rode and rode when we were young. Um, so I fixed that one up, but. We got these two, so my plan is for them is to do a little bit of racing. I know they're not going to be able to keep up with the KTM's and the Cobras and stuff, but after buying those other Cobras, I was pretty much <laughs> pretty much out of money, um, so I couldn't go out and buy another KTM or Cobra because they're so so expensive. Um, so we got these. At least they'll get some race experience. I didn't want them to start this year because the senior Cobras have got to be racing the seven and eight year old division, uh, or they could be racing the open division, but. Um, I don't know, them being hesitant and me actually seeing how fast they are and how, uh, I guess the difference between those and these, I, uh, we're going to hold off a little while. Uh, I'm still going to keep them, give them a chance to, to learn and, and, and get ready to ride on them when they get a little bit more confidence. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you these bikes. Uh, you'll be seeing these soon. My plan is to get them out and get them, uh, down at the track and get some footage of them, uh, first time on the track and everything so thanks for checking out burn piston racing and uh look back later on oh one one thing i am to just do is to get these numbers off um maybe you can help me out and figure out what to do uh their birth dates are twins their birth dates on november 30th and i know a lot of racers they do their their birth dates um but it's kind of hard to do 11 30 and they both have the same number so i'm gonna get these numbers off and uh I can either do one kid as a as eleven, the other kid is thirty, or my uh, my mom actually passed away when I was uh, eighteen, so they've never met my mom, um, their grandmother. Um, so I thought about using the date she was born and the date she passed away. So um, she was born on uh, four oh six, and then she died on uh, September twenty fourth. So that'd be nine twenty four. So I thought about letting one of them be her her birth date and. Uh, the other one be the, the date she passed away so kind of to um, honor her in a way but anyway if you have any thoughts on that uh, let me know I know some people use their their membership numbers and stuff once they join the districts and all that kind of stuff too um, so kind of still feeling that one out but uh, I might be need, need to be looking for another tire for this one this one's a little uh, a little worn there um, the other one's got some good tread on it but like I said, I haven't really gotten into these too much. Um, been busy. I got other junk up here. I'm messing with four wheelers and stuff, and four wheelers and other junk. So always busy. I will say that when I bought this one, I got that one over there. Uh, it's, it's 03. That one's missing the top end on the motor, and uh, the bottom end's locked up. But uh, you yeah. know, tire's a little bit better on that one, but not much. I say maybe I can swap the tire off that one. But Anyway, good parts bike, and uh, 
based on the price, I basically got that one for free. And, um, and everything kind of thrown in on the deal. But, alright, thanks for watching, and, uh, check us out later.